back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some mono red crisis and Hawkeye is joining us here too. He decided to jump on up here and uh, hang out. So yeah, this is a mono red mid range deck featuring Hydroid Crisis. So this is one of our favorite decks to play last format. This format, I haven't updated hardly anything. Uh, basically, we had uh, Karn Cyan of Urza in the four mana slot, and now we have Chandra Fire Artisan. That's the only thing I've updated. I could see playing Sarkin instead of Skargon Hellkite. We'll kind of like play some games and see if we would rather have Sarkin instead of Skargon Hellkite. I'm not sure which one I want yet, but we'll we'll keep that in mind if if see if this Hellkite's any good. Anyway, what our deck's doing is we're basically uh, playing a, a deck with like a lot of removal where we got our shocks, our lava coils, our lightning strikes. We got a lot of early removal where we just try to hit lots of land drops. This is uh, certainly a mid-range deck where we try to use treasure map and continue to hit land drops and kind of play up the curve. We have Chain Whirler to help really help against aggro. It's going wide and is a good blocker. We got Phoenix, which is an awesome blocker, plus a good threat. Um... And once we continue to hit our land drops, move up the curve, then, of course, the best thing to be doing in a mid-range deck at the top of the curve after hitting a lot of land drops and having a bunch of mana is, of course, Hydroid Crisis. So we got our eight uh, blue lands, eight green lands, and, of course, the treasures from Treasure Map to help us cast the Hydroid Crisises. We even got Direfully Daredevils, which is also has First Strike being a good blocker, and then can also cast spells from the opponent and everything. Did you realize this direfully Daredevil's hanging upside down? I bet some of y'all didn't realize that. But yeah, this is... Like, she's, like, holding herself up with a rope, like, reaching down, trying to grab... Um, oh, I forgot the name of that artifact. Uh, it's some artifact in... in uh, Ixalan. But yeah. It's easier to tell with the 3DR here. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of our deck. Also, having green in our mana base means we get to have the Cinder Vines against uh, Nexus if we ever play against Nexus again. Uh, expansion can kind of count as like a negate because we can we can counter a counter spell, but then it also has the explosion part to it. We got two Bane Fires to be uncounterable to kill to fairies. Um, War Boss comes in against Control. More Lava Coils for aggro. It's a pretty sweet mid range deck. Sentinel Totem. That's the name of the card. Sentinel Totem. Yeah. Um, let's go. So this is definitely a treasure map deck. Treasure map is like one of the strengths of this deck. But I am kind of worried about treasure map in this format. I haven't played it very much, but with the new three mana Teferi bouncing your artifacts, I could see that like bouncing your treasure map being a real annoyance. So we'll kind of see how this works out. Um, but I'm a little worried about that. I just haven't haven't really had that scenario happen yet. All right, well, we just got to Mythic with Selesnya Arcbow, so let's go ahead and continue on in Mythic. Um, let's change our avatar. Let's get a red avatar. Chandra? I'm the yeah. Best fire starter there is. Chandra's cool. Our mono red Krasis. Mono red Krasis. Mono red Kitty. Hey. I wasn't playing with you. Here. You can attack the pen. I'll get your cat butt off the, sc off the screen. Yeah, Chain Whirler should be really good at, at clearing up like one mana or like one loyalty to fairies after they. Um, after they. Bounce the treasure maps. Keep. Yeah, you could replace Mobilize District in the Arc Bow deck. Yeah. It's not a necessity. Oh, yeah, Puppy's doing great. Yeah, I should have Puppy back on. Yeah. Puppy's doing great. I was out with the dogs earlier today. It's why I was on... I started the stream about 10 minutes late, uh, so I was on a, about 10 minutes late because I was outside with the dogs um, and everything, and 
and just like walking around with them and, and stuff. I was taking like some trash down and letting them run around outside a ton. And then uh, I was like, oh no, I got to get back inside. And then by the time I got a shower and fed Hawkeye and all that kind of stuff, I was a little late. Lost track of time out there. The optimum money investment in arena. So that depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to get like one one constructed deck and play like get one standard deck, play your standard deck all the time, uh, then the best thing to do is to just purchase packs and crack open the packs. Like try to get the packs that have the most rares from the deck that you want to buy. So like if you look at your look at like your rares from your deck if they're in like Ixalan you buy Ixalan packs and and so on. I certainly recommend buying uh, Guilds of Ravnica and and uh, Ravnica Allegiance packs the most because of the Shocklands. But that's the best uh, thing to be doing there. Hey, what's up, Barnzo? This isn't However, if your goal is just to get like I'll try to you. get like 100% completion kind of thing and like complete your arena collection quickly. Um, and get as many as a, a really wide variety of cards then the best thing to be doing so I could lightning strike plus shock to kill Teferi then the best thing to be doing is whenever you buy gems use the gems to play limited play sealed play draft you know draft sealed do that kind of stuff um, I would recommend doing sealed with that like using your gems for sealed um, it's a good payout even when you don't don't do so well and doing well with sealed makes it really worth it. This is a two for one myself. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. This is hardly my worst defeat. Probably should upkeep stride. You and I are gonna take him out. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. I was saying this was us for control. I won't hide from the world any longer. This Let's is the Jeskai that. Super Friends deck that we're playing. That was the donation deck there. Yeah, it's okay. To, it's it's absolutely okay to just to focus on certain decks. Absolutely. That's what most people do, to be honest. Ugh, if I didn't scry, would have been able to cast that and kill the Teferi. Ugh, if I just didn't scry there. All right, well, obviously... The kill to fairy with the two burn spells plan completely backfired at, at, as much as possible with it being a Thieva Sandy deck. No time for a break. If I knew there were Thieva Sandy deck, there's no way I would have been doing that. So this could not have gone worse after the first couple of turns. We've drawn nothing but lands and. I wasted the burn spell to kill the Thief of Sandy. All right, well, now I know it's not Esper Control, it's Esper Midrange. How they didn't take the shock, how they took like the treasure map instead of the shock, I I was I was just kinda honed in on Esper control.
I mean, I could definitely see reasons to play Lava Coil, Fiery Cannon, Legion, War Boss, Chandra, Bane Fire, heck, even Explosion. I could see reasons to play all of these cards. Like, War Boss is, is awesome after Teferi, you, the minuses, go go put your 1-1 one, one into play to attack, attack it kind of thing. Fiery Cannon is really good against Hero Precinct 1. And Thieva Sanity. They're they're def they're a hero deck. They they are a hero deck. But we have Chain Whirler also though. Okay, we're gonna go down two lava coils, down two hell kites, play an extra Chandra, and play two cannonades, maybe three cannonades. Two cannonades, one expansion explosion. I'm just switching out my removal instead of Lava Coil playing Cannonade. This Cannonade is just much, much better against Hero. Um, and still, like, you know, good against Thief and stuff. Like, I think Cannonade's awesome in this matchup. Remember, Cannonade does not kill... It doesn't kill anything in my deck besides, like, the Rekindling Phoenix token, I guess. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't kill Chain Whirler. It doesn't kill Dire Fleet Daredevil because Daredevil is a pirate. Diva Sandy's not a pirate, is it? If Thief's a pirate, then I will feel pretty bad. Okay, no, Thief isn't? Okay, good. Uh, no, I wouldn't necessarily say that... Chandra is better than um, Frenzy in Mono Red. Thief is a Spectre. They work well together. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, we just we were in Diamond and won some matches, and now we're over to Mythic. Alright, so we can team up Chain Whirler plus Shock to kill that thing. I didn't think they would have Deputy Attention still in their deck, to be honest. I guess that's a reason to play Lava Coil. All pirates are thieves, but not all thieves are pirates. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Should do a meme five color Arcbow deck. Mono green mana base. And just play a bunch of things to hit off of Arcbow. I think pirates would be considered like a class, not a race. That's why, like, 
Like, human would be the race, and then pirate would be the class. As far as, like... Um... As far as like the cards are, are concerned. Yeah, if we kill that deputy. <laughs> we draw removal for the deputy. That's gonna hurt him. This is hardly my worst defeat. That's hardly your worst defeat? Man, I would not want to see your worst defeat. If that's... If that's not nowhere near. That was a pretty bad defeat there. Um, I'm gonna take that thing back out. So, which one of these do I want to play? Do I want to play one Lava Coil? Yeah, I'll play a Lava Coil. Or I could play a Bane Fire. Another Bane Fire, that is. Yeah, I do that. Two Bane Fires. Alright, game three. Yeah, I don't I don't know when they're going to do the full art basics. I can't wait. I can't wait to get the card style basics. I really can't. Yeah, I would definitely pay for like the unhinged lands or the unglued lands. Any of those? We'll see if the our opponent still keeps deputy or hero in. Neither of those cards looked very impressive against Chain Whirlers and Burn Spells. I could see both of those leave in. Okay, hand. It's not spectacular. If they have like Thought Erasure, take Lightning Strike, play Thief, it could be a problem. But we we got a lot of draw steps and we have a lot of burn spells, so. This deck's a little slower, you know, we don't we're not playing Land War Elf, so we're not like really doing a ton early. Question is, when would you decide to go second in a match? I think you'd want to go second whenever you know both decks are going to be very slow and the extra card is very important. It's it's a lot. Um, and also, you want to be doing that in lower power formats also. It's a lot easier to be doing that in a lower powered format. Uh, by that, I mean in a limited, where you're like drafting them and sealed in particular and not in standard see i don't i really don't need to be scrying here because it just doesn't matter what i draw like anything i draw is perfectly fine like i i, I don't mind a fifth land put to the bottom but i kind of yeah i should i should just draw here first and then scry afterwards to, whenever i have a little bit more information I would never go second with Sultai against another mid-range deck. Sultai has a lot of card advantage in it that it can make up and getting ahead. <laughs> Time for a 
rink. Soren has so much loyalty. These planeswalkers have so much loyalty. Kind of wish I would have kept that mountain right now. I shouldn't have scryed right then. Yeah, so in constructed, just always go first, basically. You're going to be right much over 99% of the time. Wish I had that mountain. <clears throat> I am familiar with pain. Uh, I would play. Yeah, if I was playing in GP tomorrow, I'd play that Selesnya Arc, but we just played. I'm real confident with that deck. Took the Chain Whirler. Alright, so we're going to Daredevil Thought Rager them back. Attack the Soren for four. I abhor. Use that mountain. So they're going to be able to bring back Dawnbringer. I think that's their plan. Just have one card in hand. I mean, that's definitely their plan. Can I deal with Dawnbringer? I mean, hopefully. I could, like, get this out of here. I could, um... I could have just lightning strike to the the Sora and to make it have a, not enough loyalty to bring back Dawnbringer. You belong to me now. I love that attack. Do it. Do it. Got to get that point in. There's no way this Daredevil has First Strike or anything. Oh, I guess it does. Doing that so I can not play in the Phoenix here, so I can just scry with this treasure map also. Ow.
I'll take another treasure map. Okay, I'm playing for the late game here. Yeah, we could use a fire with fire. We got bane. We got a bane fire in here. Wouldn't be so bad. It's kind of crazy we haven't drawn any other lands. No, I really want that crisis. Yay! I really wanted crisis. I never found like a mortify for me to daredevil. Hit a land drop. There. We got there. Now I get to Phoenix plus uh, Scry. Alright, so I can cast down that thing if I want. Yeah, you've been playing the, the Burning Prophet over Daredevil. I, re I really, really like Daredevil. I know it hasn't done a ton for us here, but we did, like, this Daredevil did get to Thought Erasure away uh, Soren, which is kind of cool, and killed the hero. I will take that. But yeah, Burning Prophet does let you go through the deck a lot faster, that's true. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Mono Red Crisis. Help on us rank up. Yeah, they, they just drew lots of lands. I'm sure they were not happy with their draw steps. I drew so many lands. Play first, we're lucky. A bunch of lands and a treasure map. Sounds like a keep. No surprise with the Hallowed Fountain. It's basically always Hallowed Fountain or Mount or Basic Mountain. Nobody really plays anything else. It's either Basic Mountain or Hallowed Fountain. So you got Mountain or Fountain. Um, maybe I just draw here. That card's just fine. Now we'll upkeep stop it. Definitely don't want another land right now. We'll take it. That's This is kind of looking like Esper Control. And Chamberlain is not great against Esper, Esper Control, but it's at least a, a you know card that we have out right now. On average, how many best of three in which you play first in the first game do you win, and how much is it relevant? Uh, I don't know the uh, yeah I don't know the exact numbers, but I would just you know really really guessing here. I'd say maybe it's like the person that goes first wins like 
you know, like maybe it's like 52, 48. It's talking about like percentages. Maybe it's as much as um, maybe it's as much as 55, 45. Maybe I don't I don't really know, but it's something like that. It's definitely definitely a benefit to being on the play, but it's not like doesn't mean that you just win the match. Oh right, I thought they were bouncing for a little bit. I was like, "What? Why are we bouncing?" And then, yeah, duh, they're not bouncing. Thank you, Yun. Yeah, that was a lot of thought erasures there. We should be able to find a burn spell to take out this thief. Huh. This thing can block, but also just dies to a removal spell. Just going to the bottom. Maybe we can't actually find a removal spell. So we've only seen the one lava coil so far. Thought we could have found one of our other, I guess, ten. Would have had ten removal spells. Ah, there's a lightning strike and a chain whirler. But something else good. Maybe like a crisis or something. Ah, another chain whirler. It's like all my chain whirlers. No good cards in our deck. Yeah, Phoenix is okay, I guess. Considering what we have been drawing. All right, next turn, Hellkite. We'll have a lot of mana. They'll Hellkite and activate and everything. I don't think they have removal spell because I think if they had removal spell, they would just would have used it. So I'm calling. I'm calling the bluff here. not really technically a bluff, but All right, you get the point. Let's see if it's a land on top. Uh, not you yet. So we have one more Chain Whirler in here. Alright, they kept something on top. Ugh. No, I didn't think it was worth using all those treasures just to do two damage. So 
So killing the hero right away, so more spells they play don't don't just get more things. Just want that thing dead. Well, that could be a big bane fire. So this is kind of a cool play. I'm gonna go ahead and dispersal. Oh, they have the thief cost three. I think they just had the two. Okay, good. They they still bounce the chain whirler. Awesome. All right, and I will just go ahead and use this so I can start attacking with the phoenix. Use one treasure there. I should have just done. I should have lightning striked that that thief first, and then put the chain whirler back in my hand. I was just thinking about things to do, and I forgot that I killed the two and not the three. But opponent was nice. They gave us back the chain whirler. Yeah, I've liked the new season of Game of Thrones. I know it's not for everybody. I'm not going to give any spoilers out of anything that's happened. You know, a lot of people don't like spoilers or anything, so I'm just going to say that I have liked it. You know, it's a it's been a different writing style. Um, than was originally. This this isn't any spoiler, but basically, whenever whenever uh, they stopped having George R. R. Martin's story, and they had to finish, they basically just said, "Okay, well, we know we want to finish in X amount of episodes, and so what all can we do with all these characters, and how can we tie everything up in that many episodes?" And so they've kind of gone from backwards forwards. They're like, you know, starting at the end, basically, working their way back. Um, so we've done this, taking out this, this. Um, yeah, this is what I did last time. Or no, I played two Bane Fires, no Lava Coil. What is happening? Chain Roller, get back in here. So George R. R. Martin basically writes, you know, like, what would happen to this character in this scenario? What would they do? And kind of just continues the story from there and just kind of sees where it goes. You know, just plant, just plant seeds and just kind of sees what happens um, and everything. Uh, and that's how the story grows. But then, you know, like, he stopped writing books and stuff, and then they were like, all right, we're going to finish the story in this many episodes. So then they were like, we want this this ending to happen and, and tie them up like this. And then they've kind of worked their way back. And so it's, it's, you know, it's just different writing. It's kind of jumbled and, like, it's not, it's not necessarily that one style of writing is better than the other. It's just the show had one style of writing and then has a different style of writing. And so there are people that have automatically said that the second style of writing is not good because it's different from the first one. I'm not... I have this fiery cannonade. What am I doing? I don't need to shock that thing. Let's get treasure map in play. Well, so much for my fiery cannonade plan. So I guess I need to wait on the cannonade here. They could have a counter spell, of course, for this now, but this this doesn't really let them play a thief. And I I know I would have had a shock for a thief. Oh, okay, stop! Uh, too late. Did have the counter spell, so I was punished there. I'm 
Try to get too cute of being able to kill like a thief and stuff too. I should just cast it. <clears throat> I had the shock. It's a good card. What you got over here? <clears throat> and Daredevil has first strike, which is really nice. That <laughs> that was the song that was just playing, "You and Me" by Lifehouse. I don't know if the link works, but that was the name of the song and the artist. There you go. Yep, you found it. Uh, yeah, I wear ties. Oh, I'm sorry. Hawkeye's not... Y'all need to remind me, whenever Hawkeye leaves, I, I never look at like what's on the camera so I can move the camera back up because I have I lower it because of Hawkeye there. Um, exile something costs four greater or mortify. So I wear ties because that's... Yeah, that's how I... I, I think they look well. I think they look good, and um, so I like so I like to wear. If so, if I take if I take Mortify, then this two one just blocks these one ones for good. If I take the Dispark, then they can kill my two one, and then I'm going to start taking two. Um, it does use their Mortify also, though. I'm going to take the Dispark. The main reason to want to take Dispark is, of course, uh, finding Rekindling Phoenix. Don't want them to be able to just exile Phoenix. So now I guess if they use the Mortify, the Mortify is gone. Also, and it's just on the Daredevil. Alright, and they're not even using it. The other card besides Phoenix that Dispark hits is Chandra. But Krasis does not get hit by Dispark, but Krasis would be able to get Mortified. Whirlsome Chains. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing dress pants right now. Sometimes I wear jeans, sometimes I wear dress pants. So I'm not going to play the Chain Whirler here. I think I would rather just draw another card with Arch of Araska. And honestly, it's certainly possible. I was considering this line even before before drawing that, but it's certainly possible I should have just gone the line of just pass and wait until their end step because of Thought Erasure, and then their end step, then draw the card with Treasure Cove and draw the extra card with Arch of Araska and just have it so I had nothing in hand. So we got this lightning strike, so I'm going to go ahead and attack for two. And they're not going to block because they're scared of my lightning strike.
There was a hidden lightning strike. I've only played the Nia Legend so far with with the new cards and everything in the um, in the sub battle streams. Um, I'll probably play that one tomorrow, or if not the next day. Uh, yeah, I'm planning on getting that Nia deck up here. But uh, I already had two other Super Friends decks for today with donation decks. Phoenix is good. I probably shouldn't. Bottom Phoenix. Ugh. Terrible tapping. You, you... Well, it's first... Undo. Undo. Z. Z button. Undo. Undo. Okay. Scry first. Fiery Cannonade, huh? That's a cool card. That's a nice party trick. You, you, you... You. I hope they drop the auto erasure. Uh, that's annoying. Those who cannot perceive beyond the thoughtfulness before action. Whiff. No attacks. So I can only draw one card a turn. So we'll draw a card on their turn. Draw a card on my turn. I'll keep stop. Mm. Only dealt three. Oh, that's a good one. To do that first before damage. I don't want to let the phoenix die. You cannot see your folly. And then cast that because you know we don't want to destroy the phoenix egg. Now they don't get an extra card with Narset at least. This whole having to auto tap all the time thing, such a bummer. Because they just want to tap my treasure cove or. Having to not auto-tap. Okay, so they were going to have to chump block right there with Hero Precinct 1 if I attacked them out. Because we were attacking for 10 there, and we'll see if... Like, we could have seen if we were going to draw a... A, um... Burn spell or not. GG. The Owl Force. Alright, well, we're 2 0 against Esper Hero with this deck. That's a pretty good sign. Esper Hero is just really popular right now. It's A lot of people think it's the best deck. We're 2 0 against it, so that's good. Yeah, we're up to 358. We were in Diamond just seven matches ago. We were four wins away from Diamond, and then we just won all four of those. Got to Mythic, and we are 3-0 in Mythic right now. And I guess we're now we're in, at number 358. 
I did finish last season 357, so that's kind of cool. We're 358 now. The feather deck. I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen a feather deck I really like yet. Um, it's just there's just so much good interaction in standard. The interaction in standard is just incredible, and so actually setting it up like where you have your feather and and you're doing your thing with your instant speed sp like protection spells and and all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't seem like it ha it's going to happen very often. Yeah, I think I'll play the. I think there's like some kind of MCQ tournament, something like later on in the month, and I think I'll stream that. Hopefully, don't get a bunch of stream snipers, but maybe will. Who knows? But I think people would probably want to watch that on stream, so we'll stream that. All right, now we're playing the other popular mid-range deck right now, the Bant deck. This deck with all the mana creatures they have could certainly be a little too fast for us. For the fallen. Oh, you're a good card. For, yeah, I'll just keep you. No, I would, I would prefer to have something to kill the incubation druid, but we'll just keep you. Get the treasure map, other treasure map in play, and just have you for a lot later. Storm, I was just talking about the Magic Cup qualifier thing that I qualified for being in the top thousand of Mythic last month. It's like, I think it's it's like the 25th-ish of May, like that weekend. Kind? I don't really know exactly how it works, but it's something here on Arena, and so I'll play that on stream. Let's see how we do. Right now, my deck that I'm probably playing is the Slesnia Arcbow, but obviously things change a whole lot in two weeks. But if it was today, that's the deck I would be playing. Why am I not playing one of these four drops? Because they just frilled Mystic it? That's probably a good reason. That's the card that I don't think this deck can beat. I don't think we can beat Oketra, honestly. I really don't think we can beat Oketra. I, mean, I don't have anything for it either. I just hope my opponent doesn't draw Oketra, I suppose. Gotta go aggro. Not gonna have any spells to Daredevil. Alright, so we need like all the burn spells for all the mana creatures and go aggro. I guess war the war boss cannonade combo is not much of a combo. I think I'd want to be on the war boss plan. Said so war boss is bad against Bant. Well, what if you have twelve early removal spells plus chain whirlers also to help try to clear the way? I don't really know how I'm winning against Oketra otherwise. I think just maybe running him over with war boss. That's like a, a thing that could possibly win.
This deck is a uh, mono red crisis. I like my turn three and my turn four. I really wish I had, like, this hand would be really nice if I just had any of my 12 uh, cards that kill a mana creature on turn one or two, I mean, like to play on turn two. I think I'm going to just keep because of the Chain Whirler Chandra and hope I draw one of those 12 spells on top. Why is it stopping on their upkeep? Oh, must have had that from last game. Well, technically that could kill the Land War Elf, but we're just going to kill the Land War Elf the next turn, so... Pass. Ugh. Gross. to you. Have you ever lost a home? Get out of here, Druid. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? They're not blocking that, of course. What do you put in the sideboard when you don't have Dire Fleet Daredevil? Uh, for like what for what deck? I don't know, do I just kill Vivian? No, I got three mana. I'm not losing everything again. Like rule? Um in a Gruul aggro deck, <laughs> the Daredevils are, are usually like the tool you. against blue-black decks, against like Thought Erasure decks. So you probably want something that you can play in that kind of matchup instead. Really hope no Aketra. Yeah, this is, what, this is how we want the games to play out. Is, you know, we need enough removal for like all these little things. They Let of course mold you what was to lost. four to help us out. Let's get the Chandra in play. I know, I know. Let's light it up. <clears throat> Next turn, Crisis for six will draw three, so we'll have the Chandra start doing her thing. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Well, that could have been instant speed. Burn. I'll do. I'm a survivor. I know I don't get the crisis back, but just clearing their battlefield. Ah, not again. Kill all the mana creatures makes it a lot easier. Ugh. All right, that thing's 
That thing's kind of big. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. What do you think about all the red deck wins switching to Chandra instead of Experimental Frenzy? Is it the right choice in this metagame? I don't know. I, I love Experimental Frenzy. I think it is so good. Um, there are a decent amount of Mortifies around, but I don't think that that's really worth it, like the reason not to play it. Um, I have been impressed with Chandra and Experimental Frenzy side by side, of like Chandra clearing the battlefield, or Chandra clearing the uh, top of the card, sorry. The top card. Um, I'm just going to keep ticking up. This is just going to be bad for you. Yeah, the deck list for for Jeskai Super Friends is in here. That was one I haven't really even um I haven't really even looked at the Jeskai Super Friends deck list too much to be honest. That was a that was not one that I made. That was a donation deck that was sent over. That'll be interesting to see how it goes. Um I know Krasis is going to be difficult to cast. Maybe I don't want War Boss on the play. I think I want Cannonade. Or sorry, on the draw. I want Cannonade more on the draw. Yeah, me too, Matthew. Yeah, there's only two episodes left. I just noticed we're doing Chandra Mirror. I really don't like how it always has Teferi Vivian like every time, and then once you have the opening hands, then it changes. I wish it would just be that uh, originally. Uh, yes, the Arcbow video is now up. I haven't reset Arena this whole five hours. It kind of looks like maybe I need to just exit out like close and reopen because of the memory lags. Well, I must feed that is horrible and I feel really bad for you, but please do not please do not uh say anything at all here. Got another land war off. Alright, I'm gonna start by killing the land war elves. We'll take a hit for five. We'll be able to double spell to kill the the Dawnbringer. But we'll still get getting the uh two for zero here. Hmm. I want to just kill the incubation druid, honestly. No, I should kill the the Dawnbringer. If next turn Banefire would have killed Dawnbringer, if we were like at that point. We had like one more mana where Banefire would have killed Dawnbringer in one turn. I think I may have just shocked the the druid. Oh wow, it's a it's suddenly thunderstorming outside. Well, I don't know about thunderstorming, but it's just raining really hard.
No, Puppy doesn't, but Hawkeye does. You can't, uh, you can't see Hawkeye, but he's he's behind the table right now, just like looking at the window. Oh, he's fine. Never mind. He's now looking the up. He's now looking towards me and yawning. He's fine. Great draw there. JPC guy says, if I'm ranked 557 and stopped playing, how fast would I spiral out of the top 1,000? It'd probably take a little while right now, but but you would. Like, the very last day uh, that of the season, last time, I was at I was at 5... Like, right around that. I was, like, like right around 500. Um, whenever, like, the night before, and it ended, like, the next day. And then the next day, I was already at, like, 900 with an hour to go before the, uh, like, I went, I was at, like, 900-something with an hour to go before. So it, it went down that much. Um, in the one day, and so I had to play some more to, to make sure to stay in the top thousand. Okay, so they are just jumping. That's fine. You want to play with fire, huh? All right, so kill the mana creatures. That's the that's the strat here against the Bant midrange. Just kill all the mana creatures. Chain Whirler does a good job of, of cleaning up land war elves, as we saw there. Um, got to get rid of got to get rid of their mana, and stay ahead like that. <laughs> you should have been nervous, JPC guy. You're doing great. Sideboard option for Oketra, kill all the mana creatures and keep it so it's hard for them to, to cast Oketra. That's, that's the sideboard plan. <laughs> yeah, if you're there, that means you deserve to be there. Absolutely. Yeah, JPC guy, you're up there. You deserve to be there. Uh, why am I keeping this? No, I wasn't 500 this time. We were, we were just like 3-something. Now we're 267. We, we jumped like 100-ish spots or less like we didn't we didn't jump 300 this time yeah I, i'm not a big fan of counter magic these days the kree with like three mana to fairy shutting down counter magic we have the expansion which is kind of like a counter spell that's like our, our one counter spell that we're playing is the expansion we only have like the eight blue land so like i wouldn't want to like rely on having blue mana to counter to have like negates and stuff Things begin and end in nature. I'll right, just try to rip this third land and be able to kill Not this this uh, land war elf. Play like two more land war elves. No, not druid. It's too much toughness. Thanks, Yud. Yep. 
your Bant midrange is cut back on mana acceleration. It feels clunky. I don't understand how mana acceleration can feel clunky. I think you're using the, the wrong term there. Yeah, I can't think of how it could feel clunky. Clunky is referring to spells that are stuck in your hand that you can't cast. Or just cost a lot of mana. All right, let's get Lava Coils, Chandra's, uh, Extra Bane Fire. And yeah, let's go. Let's just go cannonade over War Boss. I think I like that. And then treasure map too slow because we gotta just kill things all the time. Daredevil doesn't have any targets. And we'll have expansion which can copy. You know, we can go like shock, copy shock or something, or just like later on, explosion if we're really lucky to have all the blue mana. Lanowars only produce green and three drops require different colors. Okay. Playable hand. Don't do just don't do anything too crazy this turn. Minus. Let's slow this. Minus. Down. Minus. Built. I've got it. No more games. Well, now if they if they minus the chain whirler. And make us pick it up, then their Teferi goes to one and we can rekill it. Come on, draw land. Oh, we're doing it. We are really doing it. We kill the Teferi and we'll shock this thing. Alright, keep the battlefield clear. Hmm. And they shocked in here. It's got to be Dovin's Veto. So with that Dovin's Veto there, we'll play the Phoenix. The Disdainful Stroke? Yuck. Yuck. Could have coiled. Now, I really thought about getting greedy and like playing Chandra first and looking for a land, but you know, decided against it. Ugh. It's my turn. Sit back and watch it burn. Yes. I don't want them getting a bunch of four fours. Yeah, I know we could have we could have put them down to six, and made it so like 
Chandra like almost kills them kind of thing. I'm kind of glad it didn't. This is just gonna be bad for you. Wild animals I like. Uh, Vivian's rough. Not so Gives Oketra vigilance walk away. and reach. The operative thing there being reach. Wow, attacking me? They must have a counter spell. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. <clears throat> well, we'll just check the counter spell. They they get to see all these cards, right? It's like it's they're all exiled like face up, so they know all these cards that I have. Might as well just throw this thing that ends the game at them. VT Log, staying on that three month streak. Welcome back. Thanks for the sub. Um, <clears throat> debating what to do here. I guess it's either Phoenix or Krasis. I guess I just play this Krasis on four. Should hopefully help finish this out. Yeah, we get a Krasis and Phoenix for zero, or Phoenix and then Krasis for zero. Tear it down! Tear it all down! Beasts are much more reliable than human. I always survive. You'll all right, see. we're going to game three. You're not getting any damage in on me. I don't want to show my opponent Hellkite. They haven't seen Hellkite yet. I know I could shock plus Chain Whirler. There's a lot of ways that I could win this. There's lots of different lethal ways there. Ugh. So I was just killing, killing that thing and then attacking with the Phoenix. All right, can we win on the draw here, game three? Map's too slow in the matchup. Um, it's gets bounced with Teferi, killed, Big Vivian kills it. Uh, the 2-1, um, Knight of Autumn kills it, it's, and it's just, it's just kind of too slow. Fortunately, no chain roller for us, so we gotta use shock on Land War Elf. <clears throat> Shocking Land War Elves. Could do all day. Would 
Would you like to see what's left of Sky? For the Fallen. Ah, not again! Waiting for... Dang it. That thing's too big. For toughness. So much toughness. So much toughness. Right on schedule. Here we go. So I could haste the Hellkite to kill Teferi. But then... And I don't have the ability to kill other things. And unfortunately, this Shalai keeps me from killing their Druid also. We could see them activating Shalai instead of activating Druid. Only time will tell. Hmm. If they activate Shalai here and then also activate Shalai next turn, then I can't kill like because I kinda wanna play the Phoenix. All right, so that's that's the better result for me. That thing's only a one three now, and not a not a three five. Still adds like infinite mana, but good thing they don't have a crisis. Rude. Yeah, definitely. I definitely think it could be worth running some spy glasses out there because of how many good planeswalkers there are. Tiny. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try this. I have I have them in my Selesnia Arcbo deck. For example. Jeez. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, Spyglass doesn't affect the passive abilities. Ugh. They're so close. Yuck. Well. Just lands over here. Just lands over here. Hey, I'm still pretty happy with this 3 1 that we have so far. Um, we faced Esper Hero twice and Bant Midrange twice. And walking away there, winning three out of four against these other tough midrange decks. I feel like our deck is performing pretty well. You think if I would have just not played Phoenix and I would have just held up hel like a Hellkite activation. It's just not the correct play though, but yes, like looking back, if they had exactly Frilled Mystic into Teferi, 
but that it doesn't that's not going to win the game that's not going to beat the hydro crisis no like that still doesn't win the game it it helps but it's not beating i couldn't kill the druid or anything and all my my uh creature would still get bounced they'd still play to fairy bounce my creature and then they could counter the other creature uh the hell kite on my back no that's th that's definitely not winning the game Looks like third bant in a row. Yeah, we we just had a yeah we just had all lands and the opponent had some really good top decks, but that's okay. That's magic. Am I going crisis now? 2-2 two, two, Krasis. Yes. Okay, Chain Whirler, you got some work to do. It's just too obvious that they have another Sinister Sabotage here, right? I'm not playing around it. Wow. Lucky. I didn't re reset... Forgot to do that. Yuck. Doing that now so that I can uh, crisis for four here. It's our deck, Chain Whirlers and Crisis. That's all that's our whole deck. Chain Whirler and Krasis. That's all I got. <laughs> Two cards you wouldn't think go together too well. They go together perfectly. Yeah, it's a mass manipulation deck. You're going to steal my creatures. I want to steal them back. Yoink. It's only fair. This is an elf barbecue today. Man, we have killed so many Llanowar Elves with Chain Whirlers today. It's the last three matches. And shocks and everything. So that means that we trample over for another point of damage too with the Krasis by playing the the Chain Whirler first. So basically it makes the Chain Whirler deal two to them instead of just one. So if they have another steel effect, they, if they have mass manipulation, I mean, sorry. Um, oh, they need one more mana with mass manipulation to steal two things. All right, that's a lot of life. Let's start on over. Nisa. So choose fours to gain 16. Be wary of the 
Well, I hope there's not a Hydro Crisis over there. Uh, I guess it is a Hydro Crisis. So close to winning. JPC, thanks for that tier one sub. You're a rock star, JPC. Thank you very much. Oh, JPC says, thanks for being an inspiration and helping me to get where I am today. Well, thank Rise, you. I'm friend. glad I could help, but it's it's you, though, man. You're you're doing great. Yeah, plain white celebration. Yeah, no, I've I've always liked that card. I I think this this card is not a joke. Like this is this is a real card. Another real card is Banefire. Ten. Wow, I had actually exactly 10. I just clicked 10. I didn't count that up. So I want other Chandra, other Banefire. I guess Chandra's not that great against mass manipulation. Expansion, copy. No, we can't copy the big things. Um, Let's get these, let's get these. I kind of want to cannonade like, all their mana creatures again. Like, is Cannonade better than Warboss? Because I feel like I shouldn't be playing Cannonade and Warboss. So I, I feel like I should be choosing one or the other. Do you want to kill mana creatures? Not playing that. Got to cut three more cards. Maybe I just don't play either. Maybe I just play this. Could get rid of Chandra also. No, Shock's great. Shock, Coil, and Strike are all great. They kill mana creatures. I guess I'm going this. I guess I'd, maybe I don't need Phoenix. Play War Boss instead of Phoenix. Be on the play. That's not a bad idea. Game over. Sorry, I just I just already clicked, but said maybe take out one take out one Chandra for one War Boss. Just have that War Boss in there just to get him. It's not a bad idea. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Howdy. Let's see. We have one lightning strike, and that's it for lightning strikes. I kind of like this a little more. No. I already got a four drop. I want a two mana spell. 
I got rid of the Chandra because I want to be able to kill Incubation Druid. Well, it's not Incubation Druid, but we will be able to kill that. I would like to Tammy, yo! <laughs> Krasis is a two mana spell, that's true. I did ask for a two mana spell. We got a Krasis. Fair point, fair point. I think you will find my notes helpful. <laughs> Incubation Druid. There's a blue red deck over here. Your aggression is noted. All right, I need. I think I need War Boss instead of Phoenix. Got to got to be faster. Actually, on the play. Maybe I don't play Krasis. <laughs> they signed in Nexus and Reclamation? No. Seek and find. Could use some manners. Killing incubation druid is so important. I never found anything to kill it. <laughs> you get to rest all the time when you have a Tamio in play. They just want to check out your hand. Let me aid your research. Why are all these scrolls just like flying around in the air? What are all these scrolls doing? Like, like what are all these things doing? Chain whirler. Ugh. That's Tamio's collection of tails. She doesn't do a very good job with these tails. It just throws them all over the place. You are setting a bad example. Can we please draw some spells? Spell. Alright, well. Now I kind of regret going for three with Krasis instead of two. <laughs> to the library. She really is a librarian. Put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard, please. will be needed. I have drawn too well this game. Unfortunately. I'm 
not too far away from being able to play like Daredevil plus manipulation. <laughs> plus take to like two things. I mean, I guess this is what I get for putting that Chandra down to the bottom of my library earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta kill mana creatures. Take out Phoenix. Phoenix is pretty easy to steal and everything. Um, so I want to keep the direfully Daredevils in to re-steal my stuff back. I want these fiery cannonades as more early removal. Crisis is easy to steal, but draws me cards. Also, all right, come on, land. Ugh. I need one more land to get to the Chandra. Come on, deck. I'm saying we had too much lands. Well, we need we need one here. Didn't get there, but we had a druid kill. Oh, they better not have a counter spell now. Hooray! When people start screaming, I know I'm on. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. All right, good. No Tamio. This is just gonna be bad for you. Really need to restart arena. I guess this is our last match with Cra with Mono Red Crisis, though. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land fights for us. Sit back and watch it burn. They're going to steal my Chandra and then minus seven it. That's rude. It's 
That's really rude. Hey, Yeti, doing good. Looks like we're going to lose this if they have mass manipulation, which is what it looks like. Harness the elements. I'm one mana away from... Daredevil, manipulate, take the Nyssa. Let's light it up. Wow. Well, that's a lot of those things exiled. I'm going to go down to five. I guess if I just kill this. Right now, they can't even play the Druid. Unfortunately, I didn't have, like, a way to stop the manipulation from happening. Uh, I hoping they didn't draw land. No, you cannot expansion mass manipulation. Expansion says CMC 4 or less. And while manipulations on the stack, it, the X the X's count towards the CMC, so it has CMC of six. Makes us true power. Uh, I was gonna take the Nissa and make start making my own three threes. All right. Well, we still went 3-2 uh, with Mono Red Krasis, so success there. The deck was pretty fun to play, honestly. Um, the treasure maps seem like they may just be kind of too slow for this format, honestly. I mean, I guess treasure maps so good against control, um, and we, we did just fine with it against the Esper deck, but I guess against all those mana creature decks, we needed to take them out. Um... Yeah, you know, it's kind of crazy games there that ended up losing. Um, I didn't really hate that that matchup so much. It was just kind of the the perfect cards to, to beat us there. But yeah, good games. Ugh, GG's, butters. But yeah, 3-2 is pretty good. I, this, I was a little worried about playing this deck, and we played against a lot of good decks. You know, we played against, uh, again, we played against Esper Hero twice. We played against Bant mid-range twice those were all slugfests and so to go 3-1 in those uh felt pretty good and then yeah we had the the big mana deck that just stole too much of our stuff um which is a good strategy against against me for sure um i think i liked my sideboard plan yeah i think i liked the sideboard plan i guess maybe i needed maybe i should have brought in war boss that's the one that I I wanted War Boss in the deck, but I just couldn't find a place to put War Boss. But I wanted War Boss in that matchup, but I couldn't find any place to put it. <clears throat> no, Escanto would not be better than Map. No, you you would not reliably cast Escanto or play Escanto at all. The maps are generally good. I just I think I don't I don't like the maps against the mana creature decks, and we just played three mana creature decks there. All right, so that's uh, Mono Red Crisis. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you like the deck. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.